Hello and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Alfonso Peluso and I'm a studio associate professor in the College of Architecture at IIT, the home of the legendary Mies van der Rohe, and I'm adjunct faculty at Columbia College Chicago in the Interior Architecture program. Shout out to all my students. I hope you're doing well. We are getting so close to the end of the semester. <laughs> so close. This is actually the last video tutorial for my students at Columbia College Chicago who are working in Revit to make some renderings. And the last tutorial is looking at lighting. So we're going to look at Revit lighting today. Before we jump into that, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. I'm so close to 7,000 subscribers. Help me hit that milestone. That'll be really great. Just click on the subscribe button and click on the bell to receive all of the notifications. Also, search me up on Instagram at my first name, Alfonso underscore my last name, Peluso. Just reached 1,500 followers. Would like to get to 2,000. You can help me do that. Connect with me on Instagram to see what myself and my students are up to. All right, Revit lighting. So this is what we're going to have at the very end of our tutorial here today. So let's let me go ahead and open up the file that I'm going to start working with. Okay, so this is where we'll start today's tutorial. All right, I just wanted to make an adjustment. I noticed something in plan with the columns weren't weren't exactly centered. If I click on that, it says nine foot nine and that should actually be ten feet. And I'll make some quick adjustments here. So this is good if you you know, just to see some of the flexibility if you haven't made adjustments like this in Revit before. It's pretty pretty flexible. I can just click on the dimension, type in ten feet and it makes that adjustment for me. All right, also let me save as. So go ahead and save as uh, a new file here. All right, so the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting some recessed can lights, and we need a ceiling for those because many of Revit's lights need to be hosted to either a ceiling a floor, a wall. So we just have to know whether or not that object needs to be hosted. And for the recessed can lights, I know it needs to be hosted to a ceiling. So let's demonstrate that, what happens when we don't have a ceiling. <clears throat> okay, so to make this light, I'm going to go to Component. So Architecture tab, I'm going to click on Component. I'm going to click on Load Family. And I'm going to go down to I'm going to go down to lighting. I guess this isn't in alphabetical order. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to go down to lighting and I'm going to go to architectural and I'm going to go to internal and I'm going to find recessed this is recessed lamp. Let's keep going down, Let's see if there's an actual recess recess can or if that's the one. All right, so let's go with that one. Oh, here's a downlight recess can. That's the one that I want, downlight recess can, under D for downlight. <laughs> okay, downlight recess can. Okay, I'm going to click on open. And I'm going to try to place that recess can, and it's just giving me the big old circle with the line through it. So it's giving me the no-go. Okay, I can't place it anywhere because it needs to be hosted to a ceiling. Okay, so how do we make a ceiling? So in Revit, we have under floor plans, we have what are called ceiling plans. Typically that's uh, I think it's it's open up like that. So we have a ceiling plan. So I can go to level one. Okay, and this is the only time I use ceilings. This is if I'm going to host 
um, some lighting that needs to be hosted to a ceiling. Otherwise, I just use the floor above for the ceiling. Okay, so from architecture, I'm going to click on ceiling and I'm going to choose sketch ceiling. And I'm going to use a rectangle in this case. So for those of you who don't have rectangles, you're using a line tool or some combination of tools. Okay, so that one's 20 by 40. I'm going to click the green check mark. Okay, so now the first thing that you'll notice is you'll, you'll get a 2 by 4 grid, 2 foot by 4 foot grid on your ceiling. Okay, that's so annoying. <laughs> I think it just, just looks so tacky. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to change that under properties. We're going to change that to generic. We're just going to click on generic. Okay, and it's just going to be a generic ceiling. And we can apply a material to it if we need to. Uh, let's look at the height of it. Right now it says height offset from level 1, I believe, is 8 feet. So that's the ceiling height is 8 feet. So if I go to my camera view, you can see that ceiling at 8 feet. Let's let's get that up there a little bit higher. I think I think the bottom of our ceiling is 9 feet right now. So let's make this 8 foot 10 inches. Let's click apply. Yeah, let's go with that. Just have to remember that's what I have it set to. All right. So there's our ceiling. So now if I go to architecture and I go to component, now I can place. It's allowing me to place this downlight recess can. Okay, so I hit escape. I'm going to want to place these in the ceiling plan view. Okay, so I'm going to put that at 10 feet and 10 feet. All right, so that's, I don't need a dimension there. Okay, so now I'm going to take this and I'm going to copy it using CO. I'm going to copy it over 5 feet. And I'm going to copy it in the other direction using CO. Oops. CO, I'm going to copy it over in the other direction, 5 feet. All right. All right, I'm going to take all three of these, use CO, and copy them up 5 feet. And take these lastly and copy them down 5 feet. Okay, so there I have this very even lighting grid of recessed can lights. So let's take a look at this in camera one. Okay, so there you see all those. And we can do some quick renderings to see this. I like to save before I do a rendering. All right, I go to view and I'll go to render. Okay, so I just want to set this to begin with. I'm going to set this quality to draft. In the end, I'll set it to medium. But to begin with, I'm going to set quality to draft. I'm going to set my output settings to screen. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and render this. See what I have. Okay, so it's it's brightened up the room um, considerably there. We don't I think one thing with renderings is we we're, we're always kind of looking at them trying to see like that light from the ceiling dramatically hit the floor but the floor is in shadow um, so it's just something that you have to kind of um, especially in Revit just kind of understand that you're not going to have this like volumetric light but it did lighten up the the room quite a bit from the previous rendering okay so let's keep going with that so that's a basic ceiling light that was hosted to a ceiling as a recess can I want to make that light uh, not the light but I want to make that ceiling a brighter material so I'm gonna use I know I have a ceiling paint that we made last time so I'm gonna use P the shortcut PT yeah there's my white paint AP 
I'm going to paint that ceiling white. I'm also going to make this wall, as we get brighter, I'm going to make that wall a little darker. So I think that was under gray paint. I have to find that. I'm going to press G on the keyboard. There it is. I'm going to make it darker. Oh, I can't do it from here. I have to do it from my materials. So, manage materials. Find that gray, gray paint AP. Go to appearance. Make this darker. Okay. All right, great. So let's make a um, a floor lamp. Let's just bring in a floor lamp and and see what that needs to be hosted to now. And a floor lamp, uh, we might be able to just drop it into place. But let's find out. Okay, so architecture component. I'm gonna go to load family and. I'm going to go to, it went automatically to lighting internal, so there's some floor lamps here. And I'm going to just use the stand up. Yeah, so this is allowing me to just place it anywhere in the, in the room, which is great. I'm going to take a look at that in level one and just see where I'm at. Okay. Not bad. Kind of like it just where it was, actually. All right. Okay, so that was something that didn't need to be hosted, just a regular floor lamp. Could just place that in. Now, you can also get objects from Revit City or anywhere that you can find a Revit, what's called a Revit family, a .rfa file. So you can always search Google and, and look for lighting objects there. I want to bring in a, a tabletop object, and we don't have a table in here, so I'm going to visit. I'm going to visit Revit City and find myself a, a tabletop. So if, if you haven't used Revit City before, it's free to sign up for Revit City, uh, and they have you know just tons of tons of downloads for Revit and Revit families. So it's a great place to find it. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna go to downloads, and I'm gonna search. I had searched this before, so. Home of the legendary Mies van der Rohe. You guys hear that every time you watch one of my videos. So I'm going to look for a Mies table. Okay, so here's one, a Mies coffee table. And I'm going to go ahead and download that. Okay. and I'll place that into my scene okay so now this time when I go to architecture component I go to load family I have to browse for where I I placed it okay so I'm going to find that Give me a second here. Revit. This is Revit lighting. Okay, there it is. Okay, it's just updating the model. And I'm just going to place that in. Take a look at it in level one.
All right. Okay, so I'm going to place a table lamp on top of that. All right, so I'll go to component and I'm going to go to load family. So on the side here, you should see your um because now you have to find that previous folder where all the lighting was and we went to I went to Revit City on purpose and got this Mies table because I knew that it would continue to look in this folder so you can go to um, US Imperial and there's this is US Imperial uh, library and this one is uh, divisions or detail we want library and then I can go to and I can go to lighting architectural internal and I'm gonna find a table lamp there's this arm extension your typical arm extension table lamp I'm gonna grab that one and I'm gonna place it so this is allowing me to place it place it anywhere uh, it's interesting it looks like it landed right on top of the table like right where I needed it oh no it didn't it's just outside of it alright so I'm gonna place it on top of that table just using the up arrows at this point all right, let's see where I'm at and plan. Okay, a little bit outside of that. All right, where am I at in a camera view? I want to rotate that around. So I'm going to rotate it RO for rotate. All right, just want it facing toward the chair. All right, there we go. All right, so let's do a quick rendering and see what we have here. I'm always going to save before I do that. Take a look at this rendering under view, render, click render. All right, so that's a quick draft runner. I was staring at it for a while, waiting for something to happen. But you see some light coming from this lamp. It's lighting the top of the of the pole that holds it up. This one, it's kind of hard to see what it's actually lighting. We don't have any objects below it, um, but we do have quite a bit of sun that's coming in. Okay, uh, we lost a little bit of the the ceiling lights because this has a reflective material now the ceiling itself has a little bit of reflection to it but I kinda like it it's a little more subtle and I like the contrast of the white on the gray on the gray wall so I'm really liking that okay so next let's make a sconce light which would need a wall to host it onto and that we can host to the right side uh, the right wall here so let's go ahead and do that let's host a sconce light okay Now, if you wanted to see the, this is worth looking at. If you wanted to see the sun in in the viewport, uh, what I have turned off right now is I have um, I have that turned off. I have the shadows off, and the reason I have it off is because I just wanted to see it a little bit brighter, and it's not showing me the actual lights that I'm bringing in, so it's not really helping me out but if you wanted to see the sun position I guess that's where it would help you if you wanted to move the sun position around without having to re-render it you could do that and there's also the the rendering dialog box there's a little uh, instead of going view render there's the little pop-up down here so just up to you where you like that okay so let's go back to architecture 
and let's go to component and let's go to load family and I'm gonna find a sconce so there's a couple different sconces here there's a a flat round here I'm gonna try that okay so as I move my cursor around it only it's only gonna apply it to uh, a wall okay so I'm getting the circle with the no through it unless I'm on a wall so let me just place it here and I'll I'll change the elevation of it now I need to find it so let's see where I can find that actually there it is it's on the it's a little tricky the first time it's on the outside there's these little flip buttons and then I can also move it so there's a flip for which side of the wall you want it on then I can move that um, then there's also the height the height of that so I can say that I want that say at six feet just typing in the dimension there alright let's go to camera one and take a look at how that looks try clicking my little button on the bottom to get the rendering dialog up click on render there's the sconce there not as bright as I would like to see it I'd like to see that uh, a little bit brighter okay so lastly let's look at a pendant light which a pendant light would probably need a ceiling to hang from so let's go ahead and do that let's, uh, let's save this although I'm noticing it kind of glitchy like rendering Revit's rendering a little bit different each time now I'm seeing all those lights in the ceiling pretty bright where I didn't see them that bright on the last rendering Oh, it goes to my love-hate relationship with Revit. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's go to component and let's go to load family and let's find a pendant light. All right, there's this one called Fusiform. I'm going to go with this again. You can go to Revit City, or you can search lighting manufacturers. A lot of lighting manufacturers are going to have Revit families for you. Um, so just searching the web, just searching Revit families lighting, something like that. All right. So I'm going to bring in this Fusiform light, and so it looks like it'll mount itself to a wall. It'll mount itself to a, a floor a wall okay a ceiling and I'll if I use my spacebar and this goes with any object that you're bringing in if I use my spacebar it is rotating that it's not flipping it up or down we'll have to we'll have to make that happen okay so let's just I just want to get it going from left to right all right I'll take a look at this in elevation where are you at light? Huh. Not seeing it in this elevation. I can see it buried in the ceiling there. Let's see if I get a little go to not easy. There it is. It's just kind of was hard to see it. So what I did is I selected it in the camera view, and then I went to my east view, and there's a little um, drop, the little you know, the double arrow again. Whether I want that up or down, I want it down. Okay, it's a pretty long light. Okay, as you can see it. So there it is. There. All right, fantastic. So let's go ahead and render this out as a draft rendering one more time.
there now that now that uh <laughs> that light has turned itself on <laughs> so yeah it's kind of weird it's a little glitchy the the wall sconce is on this time okay so i want to render this out and place it into this image this was the image that was just from the materials before we put any lighting into it so i want to place it into this one so i need to render it out this one we rendered it out at the 1800 by 1350 pixels so let's do that so that's going to be changing this to printer 300 dpi changing this to medium okay it's going to take a little while to render out not too long but it is going to take a little while longer okay and just to remember um, we have exposures that we can adjust we can adjust the exposure if I wanted something that was a little bit darker or a little bit brighter I can be I can do that through the exposure control I haven't really messed with that today okay all right let's let's get this rendering out So you could, you won't hurt my feelings if you fast forward the video a little bit. Um, it's not going to take too much longer, but <laughs> you won't you won't have time to go to Starbucks uh, or or grab lunch. It's it's going to render out sooner than that. I didn't mention at the beginning of the video though that it is a nice it is actually a nice day out today <laughs> for um December fourth, twenty twenty. Uh it's pretty it's pretty sunny where I'm at and the temp's not too bad, so I'm I'm I'll take it. I'm I'm actually you know, maybe I can I can handle not having snow this winter. That makes me sound maybe like a Grinch there, but um I could I could handle not having it this winter. <laughs> All right, there it goes there. Now I can save this file. Okay, I don't want to forget to save it. I got to make sure I do that. So we will export. Call this camera 1 PNG. And I'm going to head over to Photoshop and open up this PNG that we just made and I will control A is select all control C is copy and I'll go over to our PSD and I'm gonna paste it but I want to be on layer 0 when I paste it okay layer 0 was the original rendering we can turn that off okay all right there you have it getting some lighting from that sconce lights lighting up the wall it's pretty nice we're getting some from the lamp onto that wall so we have to typically have some surfaces to project the lighting onto I noticed last time that I didn't I don't have the Sears tower in the and the view, how could I do that? There's the Sears Tower. There, I'm going to... Ah, oh, it's just like not letting me. But I, I so want it because it represents the city. I'm going to scale the background and see if I can get away with it. Oh, it's going to be tough. Might not, might not just allow it in. Because I'd have to scale it a lot more. Oh, I so want it in there. <laughs> It's like I have to scale this so much bigger to, to have it in there. It has to be like 
It has to be like that big. And he's just barely getting it in there. Uh, you know, you gotta sometimes you just gotta sacrifice. So let's see, go back. There we go. There was a reason that it wasn't in there, it just didn't work out. All right, so that's it for today's tutorial. Uh, if you found this video helpful, give me a like down below and leave me a comment on why you liked it. My head's going to pop up in the upper left here. Go ahead and click on that if you haven't subscribed. I'll link the Revit materials video in the upper right and the basic Revit rendering material in the lower right. All right. Everyone have a great day. See you on the next one.